Hey guys, what's up? Isn't, is there life on other planets and why haven't we found it yet? Why is it when we look out into the galaxy, we find nobody <clears throat> and nothing? On our next planets, there's nothing, it's a rock. On another planet, it's more of a rock. On another planet, it's a bunch of gas that nothing could live on. Um, it's just like in our gal, in, in where we live, in our neighborhood, in space, we have no one else. Not, not even like life, not even like microbes. Not even like plants, like we had nothing. We're the only ones alive here. And what's weird is that like if people, I mean, we went from low technology to probably colonizing the galaxy in the next thousand years, if that happens, if we are around for another thousand years, which would be really good if we are and hopefully we are and everything. So. But in a thousand years, we will probably have colonized the entire galaxy or a huge portion of the galaxy. Like space travel will be real easy. So that's a thousand years. That's not a long time. The galaxy is four, four and a half billion years old or something like that. And the past, I think the way, I think the, like the last billion or the last like, yeah, like the last 500 million, the last billion, the galaxy hasn't really changed that much. It changed a lot before where everything was gases and very, very hot fire planets where nothing can live. But the past billion years or half a billion years, it's been pretty steady. Everything has cooled off and, um, you know, there's lots of places to, to live that's habitable. And we're like, not just habitable for any kind of life, but habitable for our kind of life, you know, like Earth-like planets. There are a lot of them out there. We found one close by to us. It's still far, far to go to, but it's close enough to, to us um, that it's, it's close enough to us that, that, you know, we can pretty much see it with some kind of, you know, electric telescope and whatever that we can, you know, we're seeing it with. And we could tell it's like an Earth-like planet and it looks like we could actually live on it. Like it's got oxygen, it's got water and stuff like that. So the thing is that we're looking out and think about if, if it's not, if it doesn't really take more than like um, a few thousand years or maybe like 10,000 years to go from an animal that you just kind of running around and not really using any kind of tools or any kind of tech, not even fire or anything like that, 10,000 years and you know, in evolution, you got, you know, spaceships and colonizing, living on other planets, living in space, living all over the place and really, really high tech. So 10,000 years is not a lot of time compared to the billions of years that the galaxy has been around and the other galaxies. I mean, I guess once you colonize one galaxy, it's not a leap to colonize the next few galaxies. So why is there nothing out there? Why, why haven't we found anything? Why haven't, and I don't mean like people saying that they saw aliens or UFOs or anything like that. I'm talking about really like scientific instruments finding planets. Like, I mean like a telescope finding a real planet or like contacting a real alien where they're actually talking to us and not hiding and not, you know, around. I mean, they could be around us and hiding, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a real uh, advanced civilization so it looks like we're the first ones, we're the real first advanced civilizations in space, in our part of space, because there's really nothing else. And it's not like very, very that hard for once you get really, really high tech of a civilization to start colonizing other planets and the whole galaxy and other galaxies. And even like not even having to live on planets, just living in space stations or creating planets or building planets or knowing how to take a planet that's in not inhabitable and make it habitable. You know, that's, that's also like a high tech thing too. We, we don't know how to do that, but I'm sure in the future we do, you know, it's, it's not that difficult probably to figure out how to take a rock of a planet and make, give it atmosphere and, 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 make it something that you can live on when you grow food on it and like animals can live on it and people can live on it and stuff like that. So why haven't we seen any aliens? Well, it is, there is a real, like a real, like that makes sense, like a real reason I think that really does make sense. It could be anything because nobody really knows for sure, but there is a re real reason that makes sense. And the reason is that like one reason we haven't found aliens and, um, is because prob it could be that 
the galaxy is in a continual war between the different beings that live in the galaxy, like the different races of aliens. Um, so, you know, you might have one race of aliens, they're very, very high tech, they're living in one part of the galaxy, and they're always having a war with this other people. So what they did was they developed like a cloaking device or some kind of invisibility thing where you can't see them. So that like the enemy does not know, or even people, even like aliens that they haven't contacted yet from other galaxies do not know where in the galaxy these aliens are. They might actually be hiding from like warring aliens. Cause I'm in the past, well, you know, on earth, you know, people always, you know, in the past and the present, they have wars with each other and they really don't, you know, if there's a war going on, they don't want to be like, Hey, we're here, you know? Yeah. Come down and blow us up. You know, like they don't want to do that because, um, they're afraid of, you know, they, they, they could be hiding from each other. Okay. Um, they don't really want to be contacted. They're like, they want to be like left alone. You know, they're, they're living their life. They know that like, once people, once, you know, people are, you know, whatever it is, or aliens, or people, whatever it is, what kind of, whatever kind of people um, start, you know, going around the galaxy, they have weapons, they have self interests, you know, it's funny, because like, you know, if people contact aliens, are they going to try to like, have a war with them? And it was really possible that they are going to try to have a war with them or get completely destroyed because the aliens are advanced. So it is possible that every time an, like an alien race some living somewhere in the galaxy gets technologically advanced enough, they get attacked by warring factions, by, by aliens that fly around the galaxy destroying other aliens or whatever it is, um, taking their technology, whatever it is, you know, they could just be hiding from each other, which makes sense because people are like hiding from each other too. Like they don't want to be you know, there's certain things people hide and like, they don't really want to be like, you know, there's camouflage and, and people don't want to be like found if they're going to be attacked. So it's possible that there's a, there's a huge war going on in the galaxy and the aliens are just for their own, you know, their own safety are just getting, you know, a, you know, they don't want to be attacked. And another reason uh, could be that we haven't found them is they don't want to like, you know, they don't want us to be, they don't want to be found. Like they want to, they want to live where they're living with their high tech, probably utopia. And, um, they don't really want to get into contacting other races. It's just not interesting for them. They're like, they just like, they want to live on their planets or on their space stations or whatever they are, wherever they are. And they want to be left alone, you know, so no one could see them. And it, it's interesting that, uh, once this kind of technology gets developed, the cloaking technology, a, a technology where you become basically invisible to like anyone else in the, in the galaxy, when that technology becomes available, you know, it is hugely possible that people are going to use that technology to not be seen. Just like airplanes now, like can't be detected by radar or sonar or any, or any kind of like any kind of detection devices. They're stealth airplanes, you know, they're, they're just like, no one can see them. So it is possible that the spaceships are out there, but they're, they're, they're cloaked. Whether it's just, it, it could just be a safety measure. It could just be that they don't want to be seen. Uh, they, it could just be they don't want to run into other aliens. Because look, if there's one alien, there's probably more aliens. And if there's one race of aliens in one place, there's probably more races of aliens in another place. And if they have a lot of high technology, chances are they have a lot of high technology weapons and including invisibility devices, which makes them untraceable, you know? So they want to have their life on a planet and they want to live there in peace, you know, without potentially getting attacked or getting raided by other aliens that they, that, maybe are out there, maybe they're aware of, maybe they're in another galaxy, but they don't want to be seen because they're high tech enough that to know, to, to have a cloaking device. And they know that if they don't, if they actually um, allow themselves to be seen, there's a huge chance they'll get attacked. And it is possible that this has been happening in our galaxy or maybe in the nearby galaxies a lot. 
that every time, you know, an alien race um, gets seen or gets like, wants to be seen, they get attacked. And there's a, I mean, getting attacked by high technologically advanced weapons, like bombs that can destroy whole planets is ridiculous because they probably have bombs that can destroy a whole planet. We have bombs that can destroy a whole planet. If we throw enough like nuclear bombs, it'll destroy like the whole planet basically. You know, so we have a, we actually have, and we're in the present technology. We can't even go past the moon or Mars, you know, when we haven't even gotten to Mars. So high tech means high tech weaponry where they could probably like destroy their whole planet with a laser. So why advertise that you're there? You know, it makes sense that they found a planet that they want to live on and they cloak themselves so that no one can, can no one can see where they are. We're going out there and we're like, you know, I think we're doing the right thing by by going out there, like listening to the listening to the the stars. Or we have a we have radar. We have we have a telescope uh, that listens to potential aliens that are out there. I think it's worth it to to actually meet them, and, and because of, at our level, it's worth it to meet them because of the because it would just be amazing to meet other people that grew up on another planet that are totally different from us. And not only that, it'll be interesting that what kind of technology they can give us, you know, that we probably, you know, yeah, they could give, I mean, if they're advanced enough and we talk to them, of course, we're going to get their technology and stuff like that. So yeah, there's a chance we can get destroyed. There's a chance we can get attacked, you know, but there's also a chance that they're peaceful and it is possible if they're advanced enough and they've been advanced enough without destroying themselves or destroying like their neighborhood or destroying like any, you know, close by other aliens that they're peaceful enough that we will actually just like, it'd be amazing to actually meet another alien. But uh, besides that, um, it is also possible because the universe is so huge that there are aliens, but we ju they're just not in our area. And we, can we don't have the technology to see beyond maybe a hundred thousand light years or like we don't have technology to see especially if they're cloaked especially if they don't want to be found you know we really don't have the technology to see that far um and they could be just on another part of the galaxy or they could have like flown by our part of the galaxy but if they flew by where we were or 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 scanned where we were uh like a hundred thousand years ago or something like that it would ex they would have scanned no technology whatsoever and they would have thought that our planet is just full of um, plants and animals and oceans and, you know, we're, we have life, but we didn't have anything really that they would detect. We didn't have any technology life. We didn't have any, like, technological um, anything. We didn't have any, like, technological advancements. We didn't have any tech at all. Um, so, you know, pl you know, the aliens just would have been not interested. It's like... It, you know, if you if you found life on another planet, you wouldn't want that life to just be animals and plants. You know, you would want that life to be intelligent, have a language that you can learn and you could talk to. They have food which you can eat with them and stuff like that, or if, even if you can eat the food they eat, you know. But I'm pretty sure probably you can eat some of it um, that you can like talk to them and about you know, just just whatever, like you know, in whatever language and stuff like that, like real intelligent life. And they would measure intelligent life by is there a technology there? You know, is there like enough high tech there? And, or they could have scanned us and found that our tech is not really that high technology. Or they might have scanned us and found that we have wars with each other. Why would they want to contact us if we have wars with each other? It, they're, you know, they're thinking if we have wars with each other, we're gonna have wars with them. So they don't want to need, you know, why would they even contact us? Maybe they're waiting for us to become peaceful you know, before, before contacting us, they don't want to contact a war, like, you know, a warlike planet. Like if we go out there and we meet aliens and they're, and it's an, an alien planet that constantly has wars with each other, you know, we might like understand it a little bit cause we had the same thing, you know, but we'd be like, I don't know, it should be, should we actually contact these or are we going to end up being in a war with them? You know? So that's the thing. There's there's huge reasons why aliens should be out there, but there's a lot of reasons why we haven't found them yet. Um, the universe is huge. The galaxy is huge. And we've only actually seen a small part of it. 
So they could be out there in other parts of the galaxy. They could be like not even physical beings. They could be like light beings or they could be like made of materials that we don't understand or, and they're just not around us. And you know, they could be in very, very hot regions or very, very cold regions. Um, we don't know. So, you know, so that's the thing about, that's the thing about um, aliens and, and stuff like that is that, yes, do you do think, do I, you know, are they out there? I, there's just such a, it's just, it doesn't make sense that we're the only living planet out here because we get, we pretty much evolved from like elements that became organic and then became life and then became like technological life, you know, like advanced life and like intelligent life. And we evolved very, very quickly, I think, compared to how long we've been, this planet has been around. Um, so, you know, they could be out there. Maybe they just haven't seen us because basically we've only been technolo technologically advanced for like no more than like 40,000 years or even less than that. Maybe like even 10,000 years. I mean, they wouldn't, why would they want to even contact us if even we had like little huts and stuff like that? We wouldn't want to be... It's like, you know, we wouldn't want to contact, we wouldn't want to hang out with like civilizations that just have huts. I mean, they would, but we, but they wouldn't, they, they'd have nothing to gain from it and stuff like that. So, you know, who knows, but do I think they're out there? Yeah, because it doesn't make sense that we've, we've only evolved here and there's other places that are just like here that no one's evolved yet. Uh, so yeah. So let me know what you guys think, um, about this topic. And please like and subscribe to my pay to my videos. And I'll see you guys in another video. Take care. Hey,